hello guys welcome back in this laravel video tutorial we are going to learn how we can use the form validations in laravel so let's get started with that and first of all uh, i'm going to create a form uh, with the html tags this is my simple form and i'm going to take two fields here one for name and another for password all right and take a button to submit that type submit and take the some text here it could be also submit all right so let's check that okay so we have two fields here and one submit button so just put the sub, uh, first of all the path and guys if you don't know how to, what is the meaning of url and uh, how to make a controller and anything else about then you can watch our previous tutorial here we explain the step by step the uh, about uh, routings and controllers also so and how we can make a view also anything so let's continue with this video so here i'm going to use the uh, blade template brackets for type here con capital url with the two function and right here about with the slash all right so here we define the path and one we have to define one more thing which is the input which is a token actually all right so we can take it as a hidden okay so name is underscore token and value should be mm, what we call that it's token csrf token underscore and as a function and if you think why we are going to use it uh, because uh, without the crf token the we are not able to submit the uh, laravel form and if you want to uh, go to the detail with that you can you have to watch out the previous tutorial so all right with uh, i think our form is almost ready now so now just check it is there any kind of error and with the console you can check that the token is generated here or not all right so token is working fine just write here something like test and test okay so about page it's going on about page and how it's going on the about page for that you have to check on our our routing so here if i type the route or uh, type the type the about it go to the controller and controller shows the uh, show function where we just echo the about page all right guys so you can see that okay so here i'm going to print my request like print r first of all so you can see that how many requests we are going to receive here so just write dollar oops it should be the uh, small request with the input and just print that so you can see that we have the three things first is the name which is the text the password is also text but it is empty now and this is for token all right so now uh, the main work is starting from here just use a validation function which is the request with the validate function validate and pass the parameter within that so my first parameter is name actually and name should be uh, what we want to apply the condition on our parameter so like first of all i want to say it required 
required means this field should not be empty so for now this is fine so all right with that i'm going to show you the validation and after that we will make the some more validations here so let's check is it fine okay so validate is does not exist so validate function is i think fine is it anything wrong with that okay validate i think this is the right one let me check it spelling is fine so let's check our validate function here mm -mm. this is also fine this is no problem i think uh, uh, uh. okay let's check the request once again right here hello and test okay so still there is an error actually okay it's actually requires i miss the required spelling here required is it fine now let me check okay yeah it's fine now let's refresh our screen here so you can see that we got nothing here for now because we we are nothing to print here like okay fine so it should be required name for now and now how we know that is it fine or not so for that just and what if the required uh, the form validation is fail the laravel automatically send the request on the, the previous page if i am going to hit from the here and uh, java laravel uh, find that the uh, validation is no validation is fine is failed then laravel send our uh, page url to the same back url screen so let's check here and put the both screen empty for now and try to hit here so you can see that the page is come back again but we are not able to see the validations message so how we can show that for that just go to your uh, the form screen and just write a little bit code here with the ul and i have to check here for each loop and write here dollar errors with the function all as dollar error all right and we have to use the at, at the rate in the laravel after that just use uh, the dollar error this is used for print the error message and just close of the for each loop here and for each all right and we can take it within the allies so it looks much better let's hit and you can see that we got a validation here the name is required field why because we put the name field is required here and we send it from the uh, we send it blanker and just write the text here and now the form is submitted on the about screen and we can write here something like that okay echo form is submitted all right so you can see that Let's go to the back and hit with the blank screen so you can see that we have a message here now just put some more validations here like uh, 
put a validation on name which is the minimum value minimum character should be 3 okay so uh, this is the way how we can define the minimum characters and now just use numeric value so so name should be required and minimum three characters and should be numeric and with the password field we can do that with the very similar things like required and max five value and this is that's fine i think and put here password now just try to hit this value and i'm going to submit the both blank field oops it's broke down okay i have to use the comma here so yeah just submit it and you can see that the two messages one is the name field is required okay just use here uh error class here i can write style color red now it should be look much better i think yes the uh, validation uh, text is red and you can see that the both field is required for now and i'm going to write here uh anil and now it will tell you the name field must be number so if just i put the three four five six number and now it said the number must be at least three name must be at least three so i can put there three four characters okay and the password field should be required and just put some password like hello okay so name character should be three so let's check it here let's check it with the six minimum values okay so now write here one two three four and write here anything so you can see that the number must be at least six okay one two three four five six seven eight nine now i think it's fine I think we are we have to put the max value minimum value is not working with uh, some conditions so so let's let, let's just put here some values here and you can see that our form is submitted now because uh, the old validations are fulfilled now and if you need some more validations you can get from the official documentation and how we can use that how we use that you know, just take a look here uh here you can see that he just telling us that how we can use the required field and max field it is not giving the minimum field actually and if we if if we have the internal objects then we can use the author dot name and author dot description and all these things so here is the form validations how we can show them in in our template file as we use the for loops so that's it guys there is uh, some uh, one more thing which is the validation with the uh, ajax so how we can use that i'll tell you the how we can share the how we can put the validations in the uh, ajax form ajax data form so for now that's enough in this video and thanks guys thanks for watching this video give a thumbs up on the video put me your suggestions and queries in the comment box and don't forget to subscribe our channel thanks guys thanks for watching this video